and I'm back with the hair review. I told you guys I will be back with this hair. And it's on a ponytail now, but I just wanted to let y'all know that this hair is still like pretty soft. I actually still love it. And it holds its straightness pretty well. As you may look at my other video, it was straight hair. But like when I put in a ponytail and stuff, it gets some dense. Of course, it's gonna get dense because I wear the ponytail a lot when I take a shower and go to work. So yeah, um, I had dyed it, and I used box dye. I didn't bleach it. So right now it's like brown. If you can see it in this light, it's like light brown. But, um, I only put bleach, like, in the front part to make this part lighter in the front. But it didn't make it, like, too light because I only left it on for, like, two minutes, literally. So, yeah. It doesn't tangle that much. Like, you know how the back of your neck of your weave would be, like, tangled? Like, because you sweat a lot and every all the heat goes right there. But it don't tangle like that like my other hair but this hair is pretty good um what else like the only thing is like I said it was thin but once you brush it and I washed it and stuff it looked pretty thick it's not even it doesn't even look thin like that but like I said I like the thinness though cause it looks more natural and stuff but um after a while, if you don't brush it for like an hour or two, it will look like thin and stringy. But I always, throughout the day, I always do like this or brush it if I have a brush or comb it. It's not really good to comb your hair because it makes it shed more. A brush is more gentle, but a comb with a small tooth will like basically rip the hair out the whisk. But yeah, I like it. And I had this on for about two weeks, actually. I sold it down because I went to Miami. And I did not want my wig to fall off on a jet ski or nothing like that. So I was just like, let me sew this down so I could have fun, be in the water, and not have to worry about it. No glue or nothing. Like, it's just a closure wig, as you all may know. So I just sewed it down throughout the closure so it just stays in place. And tightened it in the back with the um the little hooks, but I didn't put the combs in my hair because I don't think I really need it. Just the sewing and the tightness of it was is good. So yeah, I actually recommend this hair, guys. Do you like it? Cause I think I do. Like the way I'm doing my hair like this, this is what I actually do all day if I have my hair out, but. I usually have it in a ponytail throughout the day when I'm at work or whatever. So, yeah, guys. And it's flowy and stuff. After I dyed it with the box dye, it didn't lose its texture. It's still nice. Like, I straightened it about, like, three times so far these two weeks. But I try not to straighten it too much. And I also put heat protectant on it when I straighten it because... Just like regular hair, it can get damaged or anything. So, yeah, I recommend you use heat protectant. But, yeah, I'll probably wear this for like two more weeks or one more week. I don't know. I think I want some braids next. Maybe. But, yeah, I recommend this hair. I'm going to put the link down below if you want to buy it. It was $70 if you guys don't remember. And this is 20 inch. And if you like that natural look of hair... You should get it. I might curl it before I take it out though and see how it holds the curl. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Kite, comment, like, and subscribe, and also share the video, please. I need 
more subscribers trying to reach at least 200 i'm only at 179 like trying to get up there guys so help me out but thanks for watching see you on my next video bye